Hello and welcome to True Guidance Tarot. I'm Adriana Teodora Dyer. I'm a spiritual medium and intuitive reader, your guide to a clearer and higher perspective. I have a message for Libra today. I have asked for a message of awareness this week. What do we need to be aware of that's going to really help us move forward on our journey. Uh, this is a guided message from my from my guides and from spirit. So let's jump in and see what they have in store for you. Interesting. We have the high priest to start your reading. So we are talking about grounded, earthly, earthy kind of energy that is very focused, very directed, and very strong. This is interesting. This this presence is coming up very very. Um, very big and strong in my head. It's almost as if it's trying to either help you make a decision or trying to help you protect a decision that you've already made. It's almost like there's a course that you've set yourself on and this figure is showing up to support and to kind of hold you to that course, hold you to your own decision about it. So <laughs> interesting, we're reacting with the Queen of Pentacles energy. So we've got two two big earth cards here and this queen of pentacles energy is taking this direction that's been set out for you that you've decided to go on and she's really helping you with the details helping you with the practicality of making this come into life it's funny because this i see the sun and i think of consciousness and then i look at her with kind of this twilight or dark so it's like he, he makes the decision in the day, but she takes care of all the stuff at night to take care of. So you've got it on both sides. You've got the direction, but you've also got the support so that it's not just an ideal, that you're actually putting those little steps into place. And she's helping you make the steps that are going to definitely set you in the right direction to increase your abundance. We've got that little bunny back there and bunnies are fertility, just abounding. You know, they, they love to multiply, <laughs> bunnies do. So she's really, really helping you. This, this energy here, this practical energy is really helping you forward on this path. So just keep it simple, keep it one step at a time as much as you can. Keep out of your emotions, keep out of even your, your thoughts about this. It's just about doing the things you need to do and not thinking too much. So let's see what else we've got for you. I'm gonna do the next three cards in a row. Seven of Cups, Strength, a lovely red going on, and then the Hanged Man. Okay, now this is interesting because I feel like these cards are running kind of contrary to what I just told you. <laughs> so let me see where we're going. Okay, so this is an indication that even though you're taking these small steps forward, there is still the tendency to get lost a little bit in your mind, a little bit in the world of fantasies, the world of looking at things that really aren't real. So again, we're trying to keep you strongly on your course. It's like you know what you need to do, but there's an extra layer that's being expected of you. So, okay, yeah, they're telling me to move forward. So we've got this strength card here and, and you'll notice, see all that red? And look at the Queen of Pentacles. We've got so much red going on. And red is that grounded, earthy, first chakra, root chakra color. It's also the color of passion. But, you know, we're talking about keeping your feet on the ground, not keeping your head in the clouds. We're definitely keeping your feet on the ground here because in order for this direction to happen there is um <laughs> give me the word modicum i uh, haven't thought about that word for a long time there is a modicum of surrender that has to happen our hanged man here and it's going to take some of your a lot of your strength to really kind of give up some of the control and some of the idealism with with trying to go the direction you want to go. So let me let me just explain this another way. We've got the high priest and he's showing you the direction you need to go forward. But this is a bigger direction. You've involved more. You've involved more of the universe in this direction. And whenever we involve more of the universe, there's an element of surprise or an element of um, 
we don't know. We really don't quite know how it's going to work, what it's going to look like. And so this Queen of Pentacles, even though she's doing the correct things, keeping her feet on the ground, it's a smaller, a smaller outlook. She can only imagine the next step according to what's in her head, according to what makes sense to her now. But this is involving the universe saying, okay, you've asked for something big. You've asked for a journey. You may be going someplace you're not quite sure of where you're going to go. So there's a difference between surrendering to that journey and then getting lost in things that don't really make sense or don't really matter. And they're telling me to clarify this seven of cups. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay. Two of cups. So it's very easy to get lost in thoughts about partnership and where that partnership is going, where this relationship is going. And, and for someone, this is a friendship. Um, that just came through. So it's really asking, you know, <laughs> not to get lost in this, to just understand that you've made a decision, you've put out what you want to happen, and you need to strongly surrender to that decision and go where, where it wants to take you, not where you think it needs to go, not your ideal of where it, it wants to go and what this involvement with the other person or the relationship is going to look like. This is really saying, okay, I'm surrendering this path because the other thing they're, they're just putting into my head, a lot of these big cards here, high priest, uh, strength, hanged man, these big cards have one person on them, right? Um, and, and you can argue the same for these smaller cards, but this is one. So we're really talking about your journey. Sometimes I think there's the tendency to get caught up with, well, where is this going? How is this, where's this partnership flowing? What does it mean? Where is it happening? And you're forgetting to look at yourself. You're forgetting to say, okay, how am I growing in this? Where am I going in this? Um, and to just let this, the, let the relationship unfold as an extension of you not you as an extension of the relationship. So when you are creating and becoming and being yourself, the relationship naturally extends forward out of that. But if you start to try to manipulate yourself into something to fit what this relationship is, to fit into this ideal down here, then you get off your path. You lose where you're supposed to be going, and yet you strongly made a commitment to yourself. So they're telling me to draw one more card from the top. Okay. All right. So five of pentacles. <laughs> I don't know, Libra. We're getting deeper and deeper. So the five of pentacles is saying that there's a transformation going beyond, going on beyond your, um, almost your perception, what you're seeing with the daily life. Things are not quite what they seem. You've asked for a big decision, a big movement forward. And certain things are going to start to shift or not in your daily life. It will seem like they're not shifting, but you're going to see within the next five months a big change. Something big is going to start moving, but it's like the earth doesn't move fast, right? We don't know the earth is actually turning. We can't see it or feel it turning. We only know because the light changes throughout the day that the earth turns. So this is not something apparent. This is something very, um, very subtle, but there is a transformation happening. So questions on that Libra, please let me know. Um, also, if you'd care to leave a comment or hit the like button, that's always amazing. I'd love to hear from you. And um, if you're looking for some extra guidance, I invite you to check out trueguidancetarot.com. There's some amazing and awesome offerings on there. And um, I'd love for you to explore it if you have the time. So I'll see you next time and have a great week.